All right, YouTubers, welcome back. My name's Dave, like always, and you found Do It Yourself, Do It Right. Well, as you can see, got my Ford hat and my shirt, and you know, you can see the Mustang behind me. It was, uh, you know, I went down to Georgia and fixed it, drove it all the way up here, roughly 1100 miles and uh, let me tell you that was probably the roughest weekend I can remember in a long time you know two canceled flights a rental car at three o'clock in the morning and then a four-hour drive from Atlanta to Savannah let me just say that uh, you know flying right now is not easy and I would probably not recommend it but anyways got the car here in New York I even uh, ordered up some uh, some parts. I think, uh, you know, in another video, I'm going to show you what I actually had to fix. And I added something cool to it. So, uh, you know, it feels, you know, 20% better, maybe. But, uh, you know, that's uh, another video. This video, uh, you know, I bought some wheel spacers. I'm going to set these wheels out a little bit. You know, I've been to, I was debating on... Uh, I'm putting spacers on it. Uh, my son put spacers on his uh, 350Z and it looked pretty damn cool. Looked a lot better. So uh, I think that's going to make this car look a little bit better, even though I want to try to keep it stock, like I said in previous videos around my head. Uh, so, anyways, without further ado, let's, uh, let's put some spacers on. So I actually, before I actually tear into the car, I wanted to show you, uh, show you how they come in the box. Uh, I ordered these from CJ Pony Parts. It's upside down. Maybe if you turn your head around. Uh, these are the Accelerate Black. Is that how you say it? Acceler Accelerate Tech. Um, black 25 millimeter hub centric uh, wheel spacers. Kicks them out about an inch, as you can see. So, uh, you know, we should get some good space. Um, they say it doesn't interfere with the wheel wells. It's not going to be out that far. Um, so, you know, that's good. And, uh, you know, so this is how they come. All nice and boxed. This was actually flipped over this way. You know, you can see it down in there. Nice foam. Nice boxes all boxed separately. I actually got the kit that came with... Uh, Lug nuts, as you can see, they're black. Uh, the lug nuts on the car are chrome, and uh, I think I'm gonna leave those chrome ones on there. I got that one just in case I was feeling a little spicy and wanted to black it out. But uh, I think right now, I think I'm gonna stay with the chrome. And you know, maybe in the future, I might put the blacks on there to see what's, see see how it looks. But for now, I'm gonna stay with the chrome. And uh, yeah, that's uh, this is basically it. So. It uh, looks pretty dang easy. You take these, take the wheel off, jack the car up, take the wheel off, slap these bad boys in that place, and of course those nuts hold this onto, uh, onto the hub, and it's hub-centric because, you know, it fits around here perfectly, so you don't lose, so your wheel's not out around, basically. That's the reason why you want to get some hub-centric. You don't want the other kind. You don't want the wheel centric because you could get them all wobbly and then you'll go down the road and you're gonna be wobbling and you don't want that especially you know in a race car like the mustang is you know like a high speed race car you know anyways so uh yeah that's about it gonna go out gonna get my jack get it jacked up and uh well, i'll let you see what i'm doing all right so folks as you can see uh you know got the jack out Got it up under the K-member. There's actually two bolts, uh, two very pretty large bolts. Put a jack on there, uh, you know, jack the car up. Usually I'd put it on jack stands, but uh, I don't have jack stands short enough to get up underneath there. So 
I'm, uh, I'm rolling with my three ton jack. Uh, got my air out. Uh, don't look, uh, don't look at the wheels too closely. They're, uh, you know, they're pretty dirty. They just went a thousand miles on a highway. So I'm going to snatch these off. I believe they're 13 sixteenths. Yep, exactly what they are. 13 sixteenths. Going to knock these off. I probably should have loosened them before I uh, got the tire all the way up. But, you know, it is what it is. So uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get going. Let's do it. and snatch this wheel off and get a look-see at her. What's up under here? So this is the first time I've ever had these wheels off. So man, look at the size of these brakes. They are uh, quite large discs, nice and flat. Oh well, looks like there's a decent amount of pads. I'll be in here doing brakes probably next year. Um, so, yeah, there's that. These guys just uh, slide on. And then you bolt them down. If you can get them started. Ooh, there we go. Yay. And that's, uh, that's really all there is to it. Now, whenever I open up something like this, I always make sure to uh, you know take a look around at everything else on the inside of there uh, just to get an idea of what's going to go wrong next um, you know this car only has i think maybe 24,000 miles on it there's a little over 24,000 miles on it now so a lot of this stuff is still basically new so none of it really should be worn out uh, now i do suspect that the previous owner uh, you know ran it pretty hard um so you know like i said i always do a nice look around check it out and uh you know then put it all back together and uh you know gonna you know set you guys up put you on a little time lapse and then i'll bring you back when the wheel is you know further out folks I know before you start killing me I know that lug nuts get torqued not just hammered on with impact wrench or impact gun I know the torque is 150 inch pounds or foot pounds 150 foot pounds but you know in all my infinite wisdom I left my torque wrench at work in my travel toolbox so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and throw all these on uh you know the process is the same and then i guess at a later date i'll have to take them back off and go ahead and hit them with the torque wrench uh, but in the meantime here she is here's the wheel now you really can't tell at that angle but then you bring it back into this angle and boy, it's they they're out there. It's out there. And uh, you know, we'll do a comparison on the other side. I took pictures, so I'll put pictures in there also. And look how look how well get some light. See uh see how in this one is? It's you know, look at this comparison here, like how far out 
this is with this you know it's kind of it's kind of in line it's kind of hard to get but then you gotta jump over here to this side and you can see at the wheel you can see a lot more of the rubber is what I'm saying you know it's pretty level pretty straight in line with the fender so uh, you know pretty impressed uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the same thing on the back and uh you know i'll let you see me do all that and the other side is the same so you know if you can do one side you can do the other all right there's one thing that i want to say before i uh keep going on the rear uh there's uh there's not a lot of good jacking points on this mustang so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put in a picture that i just got from cj pony parts i'm gonna put it in right now And, uh, you know, those are the jacking points that they recommend. Uh, you know, I don't really like this pinch point, you know, jacking it from this pinch point. But it's where, you know, it works. Uh, you know, I'm not in love with it. But it has got the back end up off the, the ground. I can't go from the differential because my jack is not, you know, it's not low enough. I should have bought the low profile one. But I didn't. So jacking from that pinch point. Uh, just thought that would be a little bit of a, you know, useful knowledge for you guys that are jacking your Mustangs. So let me just say, it's pretty much a drastic change. Uh, just look at this back tire. Look at how far that thing sticks out compared to stock. This is, has the wheel spacer and this one does not. I mean, look at that. that's that's a pretty big change folks and uh it gives it a you know a much beefier kind of look i think and that's kind of you know what i was going for so i'm gonna go ahead and uh you know do the same on the other side and uh, then take her for a ride, because that's what you're supposed to do. You do work on your car, you take her for a ride, you test drive it. That's what a test drive is for. So, gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, you know, go have some fun.
folks, there you have it. Wheel spacers are on, test drive is done. No weird vibrations. Uh, as you can see, man, it really, uh, it really changes the car. I'm not gonna say that it's a completely different looking car, but you know, it does look better in my opinion. Uh, you might have a different one, whatever. Uh, just so you guys know, I, uh, you know, I got these parts from CJ Pony Parts. Everything comes uh, with everything you need, the spacers, the, the little nuts. Uh, the uh, part number uh, for this whole kit is uh, WHSP19. And uh, that's for the, uh, for the hub-centric uh, spacers. The, uh, the lug nuts are uh, WH LLN20. And uh, let me tell you, I, I, you know, I paid for two-day shipping. And believe it or not, you know, it showed up two-day shipping. And I can, you know, I can appreciate that. If you spend a little extra money, uh, you know, they get your parts out to you, uh, you know, with a quickness. They're out of Pennsylvania, so it's really not that far. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's it. That's the car. Uh, I really only have one more thing that I want to do on this car, and that's uh, change out that nasty looking coolant reservoir. You know, it's plastic, it's ugly, and uh, that's, uh, that's the next thing to go. So, uh, you know, like you guys do at the uh, end of all my videos, like, tag, share, follow, subscribe, you know, put a comment in the block below, uh, you know, nice comments, hopefully. And, uh, you know, like always, till next time, thanks a lot. Uh -huh.